Hello viewers, welcome to the first program of English short stories, I'm Dada Ayuba, in this program you're going to hear a lot of stories such as, funny stories, life stories, sad stories, bedtime stories, kids stories, family stories and more, but first, let introduce our guest. Hi, my name is Mr. Hunk. Mr. Hunk, welcome to English Short Stories. It's my pleasure to be in this great program. So, let's start with family stories. Mr. Hunk, we are waiting for you. A story about an old man. A frail old man went to live with his son, daughter-in-law, and four-year-old grandson. The old man's hands trembled, his eyesight was blurred, and his step faltered. The family ate together at the table. But the elderly grandfather as shaky hands and failing sight made eating difficult. Peas rolled off his spoon onto the floor. When he grasped the glass, milk spilled on the tablecloth. What's a pity? The son and daughter-in-law became irritated with the mess. We must do something about grandfather, said the son. I've had enough of his spilled milk, noisy eating, and food on the floor. So the husband and wife set a small table in the corner. There, Grandfather ate alone while the rest of the family enjoyed dinner. Since Grandfather had broken a dish or two, his food was served in a wooden bowl. When the family glanced in Grandfather's direction, sometimes he had a tear in his eye as he sat alone. Poor old man. Still, the only words the couple had for him were sharp admonitions when he dropped a fork or spilled food. The four-year-old watched it all in silence. One evening before supper, the father noticed his son playing with wood scraps on the floor. He asked the child sweetly, What are you making? Just as sweetly, the boy responded, Oh, I am making a little bowl for you and mama to eat your food in when I grow up. The four-year-old smiled and went back to work. The words so struck the parents that they were speechless. Then tears started to stream down their cheeks, both knew what must be done. That evening the husband took grandfather's hand and gently led him back to the family table. For the remainder of his days he ate every meal with the family. And for some reason, neither husband nor wife seemed to care any longer when a fork was dropped, milk spilled, or the tablecloth soiled. That's the end. That's great. So viewers, that's the end of our story of today. I hope you learned some of the lesson in this story, I'm Dada Ayuba who brought the program to you. Let's catch up on our next story. Bye-bye, moral, children are remarkably perceptive. Their eyes ever observe, their ears ever listen, and their minds ever process the messages they absorb. If they see us patiently provide a happy home atmosphere for family members, they will imitate that attitude for the rest of their lives. The wise parent realizes that every day the building blocks are being laid for the child's future. Let's be wise builders and role models. Because children are our future. Life is about people connecting with people, and making a positive difference. Take care of yourself, and those you love, today, and every day.